in oh. honor of summer road trips happening, we thought, why not test out my co-host travel knowledge with a little game called 5050 Fandango Highway Tourist Trap Edition. <laughs> It's pretty simple. I'm going to read the name of a bizarre tourist trap that you might find along a highway in North America. And I'll tell you a little bit about it. Then you just have to tell me if it's real or if it's fake. Okay. All right. I like this. 50-50 chance. Uh, Yeah. yeah. Hence the name. Yes. Okay. Not as tough as I thought. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) So let's get it started. Alexis, you're going to go first. (laughs) Okay. This one is located in Jasper, Alberta. They have a tourist attraction called the One-Legged Duck. It's an actual one-legged duck named Stumble who's been dead for decades. Dead? But was once famous and appeared on The Tonight Show. Now he's stuffed in a drugstore window for all tourists to see and take photos with. Alexis, is that tourist trap real or fake? I mean, oh, I just, we all said awe to it. I feel like everyone loves a one-legged duck. Yeah, so, so I, I do think it's true. You think it's a real place? I think it's a real place. The one-legged duck attraction in Jasper, Alberta is fake. Uh-huh. No! Not real. I want Come on! I have a feeling because you shouldn't keep stuffed animals in direct sunlight. So they wouldn't put it in the Why window. Why do you know yeah. that? Just decay faster. She knows a lot about yeah. taxidermy. <laughs> All right, we're on to Brooke. Brooke. Yeah. This one's out of St. Charles County, Missouri. Okay. They have something called the Nuclear Waste Adventure Trail. Oh, this sounds legit. And what do you do with an abandoned bomb-making site from the 1960s? Don't clear it out and put in a strip oh. mall. Highlight it. Now, oh. only the brave walk the trail. Brooke, is that tourist trap real or fake? Oh, oh man. We, the United States of America loves some nuclear waste. I'm going to go real. Oh. The nuclear waste trail in Missouri is real. Yeah. Oh. But the wow. duck isn't, uh, obviously. Nope. <laughs> Stupid. That's one point for Brooke. So, Jose, okay. you're up. This you're one's up, out of... You're up true. It is a real place. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you are up. Oh, sorry. Okay. I got excited. <laughs> this one's out of Raton, New Mexico. They have the Goldfish Graveyard. Mm. Tourists oh. and goldfish mourners come from miles around <laughs> to bury their beloved. And you have the option of buying a $40 headstone for Whoa. your little friend who's Dang. passed along. You can bury it anywhere on the two-acre property. Oh, Jose, so is New Mexico's oh. Goldfish what? Graveyard real or fake? What the heck? Like a, a nickels for a goldfish, yeah. We're forty bucks. But it's a great concept. I think it it's brilliant. So I'm gonna go real. Uh-huh. The goldfish graveyard in New Mexico is uh, fake. Oh, oh, that's such a good idea. I think it was the cost of the headstone. Yeah, yeah, yeah that didn't seem cold. right. Fish are you know, kind of replaceable. Yeah. Hey, 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 no, they're not. <laughs> okay. All right. So so far, Brooke is the only one to get one correct. Right. We're on to round two. We're back to Alexis. Alexis. Okay. This one's out of San Antonio, Barney Smith's Toilet Seat Art Museum. The name pretty much says it all. It's got paintings, sculptures, and more, but all of it is just of toilet seats. Nothing else. Alexis, is that tourist trap real or fake? I could see tourists sucking this up all over Instagram. I think it's real. I'm with you. I think it's real. Barney Smith's Toilet Seat Art Museum in San Antonio is a real place. Back to Brooke. This tourist location is out of Saint Sauveur, Quebec. Okay. They boast the world's largest tube of toothpaste. They oh. say you can climb it, take pictures next to it, and slide down the back on a potato bag with your family. <laughs> 40,000 wow. people a year are estimated to come to see it. Brooke, is that tourist trap real oh, or man. fake? Is there you know, in it? the thing too. is, people love giant stuff. Yeah. You know, anything big, I'm going real. You're saying real? I'm saying real. Quebec's Just... largest tube of toothpaste in the world is <laughs> fake. Oh! Just slide down it. That sounds so fun. We're actually giving people ideas for things that they shouldn't. I know. Okay, Jose, we're back to you. Okay, let's go. This one's out of sunny Las Vegas, Nevada. Hey, I love this place. Place Jose is intimately familiar with. All the time. They have a brand new attraction that's getting buzzed now. It's called the biggest piece of glitter on earth. Shut up. Weighing in at approximately one and a half tons. This giant piece of shimmer was just erected outside the mansion. Delay Bay Resort and Casino. Don't look directly at it, though. I was going to say. 
Jose, what do you think? Real or fake? I don't know. And the glare on that bad boy would burn the city down. But it's <laughs> such a great art installation. Yeah, right? and if they tried to do the, the giant robot in the desert for Michael Jackson years yeah. ago. It's Vegas, so mm-hmm. I couldn't, if any city's going to do it, it's them. I still think it's fake. I think the heat alone in the summer would be so bad. Las Vegas's biggest piece of glitter on earth is <gasps> fake. Oh, yeah! Not a real place. Yeah, we're all tied. We're all tied. All oh right. My gosh. One to one to one oh, going yeah, into the yeah. third and final round. Okay. This oh, is man. where it counts. Alexis. Okay. In Booger Hole, West Virginia. <laughs> That's a real name. Shut up. They have something called the It's Crap Museum. Oh, my God. It's a four-story building that you wander through filled with random pieces of junk. And as you examine (laughs) each exhibit, you decide if it's crap or IT scrap. What? Get it? Same letters, different pronunciation. Clever. Alexis, tell me, is the It's Crap Museum in Booger Hole real or fake? Oh man, I it just know. sounds like an First antique all, mall to me. Yeah, I don't know who is going to Booger Hole or whatever. People <laughs> obviously live there, okay? Uh, I'm gonna go fake. The I don't know. It's Crap Museum in Booger Hole, West Virginia. That place is fake. Oh, oh my God. God. Right. Alexis pulls ahead. It's just Alexis. too good to be true. Is Booger Hole real? I don't know. We'll Booger Hole it. is a real place. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love it. On the brook. <laughs> Yeah. This one's out of Mustang, Texas, the infamous Maggot Museum. Mm. Over 200 years of maggot carcasses can be found inside. So not only will you learn the history of the maggot, but they even have their own petting zoo enclosure. What do you think, Brooke? A maggot carcass is what gets me, because don't maggots just turn to flies? Like, what? what Would you like to phone a friend? <laughs> I just don't think that there's a maggot carcass. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm saying it's fake. How do you know so much about them? The Maggot Museum in Mustang, Texas is fake. Not real. So, Jose. I I probably wouldn't have pet a maggot. It comes down to you. If you get this right, (laughs) it's worth double points and you're going to win. Yes! Yes, I love these rules. I love these rules. Yep. Jose's Let's the go. least traveled of anyone in this Thank room. You. So what? here we go. He goes to two locations. It's That's Vegas, all Vegas and Hawaii. Jose, this one's in the town of Rockport, Massachusetts. It's called the Paper House. Oh. It's a three-bedroom, two-bath home built entirely out of newspaper. What? Even the oh. furniture, including the piano, is constructed out of it. But make sure you check the times if you're going to visit because if it rains or gets too windy, oh. the attraction is closed because it might blow away. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Jose, is that hot tourist destination real or fake? I don't know. I can, Oh, my gosh. I'd want to live there just so I can be like, hey, did someone deliver the paper today? Okay. Yep. Oh, yeah. No one would okay. laugh. Just like what this. do you yeah. think, Jose? Um, 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 I I'm gonna say it's real. It's a real place, Jeff. Final answer. Fine. Oh, for the win. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. For the win, though. Oh. Double points. Final. It, it's real. All right. Turns out the paper house in Rockport, Massachusetts, is a real place. Yeah! And the winner of 50 50 Fandango Bizarre yeah! Tourist Trap Edition Let's is go! Jose Bolaños. Hey, let's go. Congratulations, <laughs> Jose. All right. Places now. Yeah. <laughs> we need to start a goldfish cemetery. Yes, yeah. that's a brilliant idea. All right, everybody, enjoy your summer road trips this year and Yay. make sure to say hi to Stumble, the one legged duck for us. <laughs> we got your phone tab coming up right after this.